NECA store.com. It's just the NECA brand. But that's what they're saying. And we're going to take a look at some new NECA toys that are on uh, display. Check it out. Beetlejuice amidst his girls, girls, Dante's Inferno room. Check that out. It's very cool. <laughs> Live feeds. Alright, so this is the Inferno Room Diorama. This is going to be quarter three, 2024. So you can kind of see all of that just as it is. There's the Beetlejuice. So, you can see. so yeah, it's going to be a bit of a playset. That's really cool. We're going to move down here and see the packaged versions of all of this. That looks pretty cool. These are going to be reissued of things uh, they've already put out some time ago, but um, if you missed them the first go around, they're going to be a little bit light on the articulation as the previous ones were, but still kind of uh, interesting to say the least. I actually don't have them, so that'll be something new. And then this uh, larger type Beetlejuice. There you go. Kind of zoom in there. Striped suit. Beetlejuice with sound. All right, we got the wedding tuxedo Beetlejuice till death do his parts, and then the normal striped Beetlejuice and germ. So hopefully we'll see something, possibly, for the upcoming sequel. And up here we have some of the Toonie Terrors, the horror stuff that they do. Ones we've already kind of seen. Is that going on? The Tar Man is. Terrifying as that always is. Male Alien, Vampira, Vincent Price, Nosferatu. So that is Tuni Terra's Silver Screen. So quarter three, 2024. Yeah, I gotta get that. Down here, we have the Series 10 Universal Monsters. <laughs> John Carver, which I just recently saw that movie. It was pretty good. It's as corny as it is, it was good. And you have all these. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That looks pretty cool. So you got Toonie Terrors. Then down here, it's a new reveal, which I think is pretty cool. You got Home Alone, Toonie. So it's Kevin, Marley, Harry, and Marv. Old Man Marley and his salt trash can with the thing. And I'll zoom in so you can see the facial expressions. <laughs> I think I might pick those up. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, the recent Murder, She Wrote that they recently revealed. That's pretty cool. Jessica Fletcher. Then we have some Elvira action. There you go. She comes with the dog and the couch. This is a little box set, just like that. And then we have Pee Wee Herman. So, Toonie Pee Wee. There you go. You can see him down there. And then as we kind of move over here, we have the Planet of the Apes. They're looking pretty good. A lot of people are stoked on these. These are available pre-order if you want. There you go. Got that. NECA wants you <laughs> to go ape. It's like the old Simpsons thing. Ook, ook. Yeah, the, the bank. The bank teller. Never mind. It's Black Simpsons. Anyways. So you can see, I'll zoom out so you can see all that. It comes with all these accessories and extra head portraits. Let's see that. I get in there, get a better look at that. All the various iterations. There we go. So we have Planet of the Apes. I love that backdrop. That box looks great right there. So then, coming down here, we have Flash Gordon. And I took a look at the San Diego Comic Con, so you can watch that if you'd like. Hope that you got one, if you wanted one. A friend of mine really wanted it, so I, he was very stoked to get that. So, very cool. And these are all ones that we've kind of seen in the past. And we have this uh, cover collaboration. And then over here, we have some Dungeons and Dragons. So we got the Carded War Duke. And then we have the Ultimate Elkhorn, Anniversary Carded, Zarak, 
or Zarek, I believe it is. Colors on that guy is pretty cool. I totally dig that. And then, over here, we have the Strong Hearts, which I believe he was at Target, or he's at Target now. Got all these. We'll come down here for the Puppet Master. There we go. These are equally as terrifying. We have the new Leech Woman with the box, so you can put all these in there. Puppet Master box, six shooter. Pretty interesting. So people are really stoked on those. And then down here, we have Iron Maiden. That's pretty cool. Look at that. So we have the Future Past World Tour Ultimate Two Pack. And then that looks pretty cool. Then we have the World Slavery. <laughs> 84 to 85. There you go. Zoom so, in. Look at that head portrait. There you go. You got these demons. Come around here. That's very cool. You got the misfits. Lodi, New Jersey. And there it is. All right. So, I'm going to come over here. And the Assassin's Creed. Which is stuff that we have seen before. So no problem was there. I'm going to make my way over to the Ninja Turtles stuff, which they put some new things out. We've got to zoom out. we got all the Christmas turtles. So we've got Dimension Xmas Vacation. Here's the box. Those are gifts, skateboards. Well, you have the streets already. Very cool. Then you got this uh, Shredder's Throne, Throne, which is insane. Shredder's Throne. So you can actually pre order this now if you want. And then down here. Trinac Shock. Yes, we are getting Tatsu. So Tatsu was a Walmart exclusive because it's part of the movie line. But you can get your very own Tatsu. And if I zoom in here, which you can clearly see, Tempestra will probably be making her way into the Cartoon 2 Turtles line. So there you go. But that's a cool setup. Check that out. And then down here. It's more of the Universal Monsters. I'm trying to get that up close. Raphael. Mikey's kind of tumbled a little bit. Leo, Donnie. So that's going to be a box set of Universal Monsters. And you can get this two pack now at Walmart if you'd like. There you go. That's cool. Then up here, cartoon line. So we have the Ultimate Shredder. Quarter 3, 2024. Good old Zilu taking the reins on that. Shredder looks good. I have a separate video up if you want to watch it. It's more on the turtles, turtles only if you want. But this one doesn't have the official reveal of Panda Khan. Check that out. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, maybe Pixel Dan had the exclusive reveal on that. So congrats to Pixel Dan. And you got Panda Khan. So he'll be joining the cartoon TMNT line. And it looks like he'll be quarter one, 2025. And then we have Slash, which he looks pretty cool. He's going to have all of his accessories. He's got. These are repacked, repainted. So, Ultimate Slash, quarter three, 2024. So, I think he looks pretty good. Eh, it's a good redone Slash. He looks a lot more hefty. He doesn't look as tiny. Uh, for those of you, I mean, Happy to get a new slash. We'll say that at the very least. And then we have <laughs> Vacation Disguise, Bebop, and Rocksteady. So check that out. Rocksteady, Bebop, 
And then you get to see it all in Donatello's lab, but that's not all. We have the correct, well not the correct colors, we have the alternate colors of their disguises. So that'll be a two-pack two pack of Punk Leo and Punk Raph. And then of course we have Worm, who was only in the cartoon line, I'm sorry, the commercial for the old uh, TMNT. And uh, was never actually on the cartoon show, as many people believe, but still pretty darn cool. And he comes with stuff that is very reminiscent of the old Playmates toys. So again, kind of zoom in here so you can see him. That looks awesome. And then one of my favorites, as weird as it is, is of course Tattoo, and I think he looks pretty darn good. He has this little hamster as he was mutated from a ham. It doesn't make any sense, but hey, there you go. Yeah. Tattoo, and I'll kind of come around here, and you can see his little sandals and some of the tattoos that he has on him. And then back up a bit, and you get to see Donatello's lab, which should be shipping soon. And then come over here to the stump four pack of the turtles in the Archie comic series. I love the artwork on that stump wrestling. Come down here for the Archie stuff. Great backdrop. And we got Crying Hound destroying all the turtles. He actually just went up for Pro this morning at the Walmart. He's not an exclusive, which is first to market. We have Donatello. And you have the Leatherhead. She looks great. Love the Archie stuff. And then you got Mikey. Very happy to see these. There's a lot of something I wanted to see as a kid. And then you have Belly Bomb, who we've seen before, and he's going to have a, a swap out mouth, I believe. I don't think it's hinge, I think they, they went to the swap out mouth. So anyway, he's got a big old eyeball, and he looks pretty fantastic. So look for him at coming soon. Here he is, all packaged up, ready to go. Belly Bomb. And then we have Mondo which we've known he's been coming, so he'll be with his guitar, a couple other accessories. Like I said, you got Crying Hound all boxed up, and then you have Leather Guy all boxed up. So all these are on their way to that. Then, come over here and look at Raj, which looks pretty darn cool. I love that they finally pulled the helmet off her so you can see her face. So you have Karai. It's great. My favorites. And for this, uh, I was asked by Mega Toys, which character, which anything would you like to see them do for the Mirage or otherwise? And I said, well, it's an old school, really obscure TMNT comic. And it's not really TMNT, but it's in that vein. It's called the Puma Blues. I said, please make an old man wrath with the man ray. And sure enough, they did it. So I had a little hand in making that as small as it was. Uh, but they made the figure that I requested, and I will have a look at that figure as a exclusive coming up very soon, so stay tuned for that. And then we have the Triceratons, Gladiators, those are looking good, I'm probably going to get four of those, not going to lie. And the Super Turtle, pretty cool. And you got the Domioids, which... Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> Legend. You're a nice, legend. Nice to see you. <laughs> then we have April O'Neil, which I think they, it's a great head portrait on her as an updated April O'Neil. It's pretty cool. So she'll be coming uh, quarter four towards the end of the year. And then we have uh, Donatello, Handyman Don, with all his tools. Looking cool. And then we got. Leatherhead, which I believe they've changed since we saw him last time, but I kind of like this newer iteration, at least with the eye patch. I think that looks great with the skull in it and then going down. So Leatherhead, he will be quarter four 2024. And then finally down here, we have the battle damage Ronin. Well, it's like nude Michelangelo. You got some of the stuff. This is all the last Ronin. It's the newer comic. Honestly, I haven't read it. I think it'll be good. A lot of people, they, they definitely like this new comic book. It's really not for me, for the story. I, it's fine for what it is, but I prefer different <laughs> futures for the TMNT. And there's been several over the years, of course. But those all look good. And you got April down here. Get down there so you can see her up close. 
There we go. You got all those. You have the Sinja officers. And you got the Fugitoid in the background. All these turtles. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Like, they're really tackling that storyline. And I gotta tell you, as much as I say, oh, I don't care for the storyline. Yeah, they're definitely doing a great job in terms of making toys for it. And then we'll come over here. A lot of people are stoked for the Sesame Street. There you go. You got Ernie. Probably should have gone the other way at first, but you have Bert and Ernie. There you go. Ernie's going to have two head portraits. That's pretty cool. So it'll be Ultimate Ernie, Ernie Quarter 3, 2024. And you got Bert with his pigeons and his bottle caps, his paper clips. There you go. You got Bert and Ernie. Yeah. That's pretty good detail. I like the, the fuzz effects that they kind of got going on. It gives a little texture and the sweaters and everything else. And then, as you can see, you have the, lel the alphabets for NECA, which is a nice touch. I hope that's something they're definitely going to put in the box. But we have the Ultimate Count Von Count. So he looks pretty cool. <laughs> right on. That looks so good. So Sesame Street coming soon. From NECA Toys, and then let's see, we have uh, Nightmare for Christmas, so they're gonna do more figures for that. Santa Jack with a bunch of gifts. Very cool. Pumpkin. They're fixing Sally as we speak. And we have the mayor. like he's doing the stop motion as we speak inside the glass case. So kind of zoom in on her face. Jack and the mayor. See all their accessories right here as well. And then nothing new as far as right now for the dinosaurs. So that's unfortunate. <laughs> So we still have the SEC exclusive, and then we have the three that are on shelves right now. And then, let's see, go up here. I'll switch you guys if you want. <laughs> we have uh, the Vancouver Kids, which I think is a fantastic line because it just evokes all that nostalgic Halloweenness that is just so darn cool. And we'll have to go around on the other side to get the rest but a lot of them coming some special special cool ones too which i think are really nice from other different um, brands and then you have elvira the new commando elvira pre-order her on walmart very boobalicious that uh, elvira there's a lot there's a lot to look at there and then we have uh, Pee Wee herman I was almost tempted to do the impression right there. For <laughs> her. Two head portraits. The dinosaur ultimate Pee Wee Herman is coming. It's pretty cool. And then we have this one I'll definitely be grabbing is Vincent Price. That's a great box cover, but there he is. He's gonna have multiple iterations of his looks over the years as he's aged. And that is just awesome. That is just so cool. You've been down at the skull. You gotta have a skull when dealing with Vincent Price. And then you have the black cat as well. Kind of get a good angle there. But yes, Ultimate Vincent Price is a coming. So you can see the ants, quarter three. Then you have some elves. New elves, totally awesome 80s elf, which is pretty much every elf, but he comes with a Nintendo, he comes with a pizza, he's got a skateboard, TV, Rubik's Cube, and one of those big old 80s businessmen on cell phones. And then you got Ultimate Super Alf, which was the San Diego Comic Con exclusive, and then you have the Ultimate Born to Rock Alf, which he's got a Bill Clinton saxophone. Not too shabby, right? <laughs> I'm going to come over here. We have the new 
Monsterizer. So that looks pretty darn cool. Old school box, light up features, Creature from the Black Lagoon. You have the Dracula in the red coffin. So you can get that. This is the Crypt Club 4-pack. So you get all of those with the red coffin. You can order that now. And then you have the Mummy. Ardeth Bay. It's pretty cool. Look at that. Look at those. Head portraits right there. And then you have the Invisible Man Kemp House Dweller. Which means that will be a black and white. Got that. Very cool. And then down here we have the American Werewolf in London. Chucky. So much stuff, right? So much stuff's coming. And this is the holiday Chucky, which, yeah, that goes together. And then you have, of course, Megan. And you got two different versions of Vance. A doll. That is killer doll. Different face plates, different that, different this. Swap them out, do all that. So different outfits there. And then down here we have Silence of the Lambs. So we'll have the Prison Escape, which is already out. It's a reissue, and then the Masked Animal Electric. So we'll get in there, look at that. We got Halloween, which we've seen. And then the recent Ghost Face Inferno. Then, over here, something I'm really looking forward to seeing is the alien Romulus, which I'll go ahead and zoom in on that. I think that that looks very cool. I'll kind of give you a better, it's the glare on, uh, on this one. Alien Romulus. I like to see the little crack in the, in the dome right there, and that'll be interesting to see how it gets that. And then, this is the accessory set. So this is the Ultimate Scorched Xenomorph and the accessory set. We've got various elements from the new movie, which I think that looks pretty cool. The face hugger, the gun, various face huggers, newborns, and then, you know, really whatever this is going to be. It's pretty cool. Did you watch Megan? I love that. I think that that looks so cool. So very stoked about that. And then we have the Predator, which we've already seen. This is the SDCC exclusive. We got the Feral Predator right there. And then up here we have the upcoming Krampus, Deluxe Deer Clown, and Krampus himself. So I know a lot of people weren't too stoked about the prices on this, but I don't think they made too many of them, so if you want it, definitely get it. Who knows how that's going to go. And Deer Clown, which is all types of terrifying. So, oh, they've got the, uh, they've got the little tag switched. <laughs> There you go. He's eating the person. All nicely. And we'll come across over here. Let's see what we got. We have the Predator Throne. Check that out. That is pretty cool. To see that kind of in hand, uh, or you know, at least right here, is pictures don't do it justice. That's pretty wild. Continuing on, we have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Pretty Woman Leatherface, and just not Pretty Woman Leatherface, and you got the Armadillo, and that just looks equally as terrifying. Check that out right there. <laughs> yes. Anyways, and then we got some Evil Dead. Thank you. We got the John Carpenter. Um, 
And here we have um, Nosferatu, there's Count Orlock. Yeah. There's little robes going on. He's got a couple extra head portraits. That's pretty cool. House of Dracula, Ultimate Dracula. House of Dracula, that's pretty cool. And then you have Van Helsing. And then just to kind of ramp things up, these are the other kids. So you have the new ones. We've got Gremlins, Mogwai, got the Alien one, which I think is the best one. Beetlejuice with the skull head, which is the skeleton. Remember Jacques? That's a nice touch. Totally dig that. And then we have Gremlins. There you go, so you can see them all boxed up and ready to go. <laughs> and that, honestly, really kind of wraps things up. There is going to be, if I can get over here. Sorry, man. There's going to be some uh, Ernie, uh, Toonie Classics Ernie, so real quick, you can see him. And uh, he's right there with his rubber ducky. Oscar the Grouch, Trinity Classics, Pendle and Approval, and Classics Hearts. And we'll kind of get out of here. <laughs> and we'll say, that's it. So that's it for the NECA stuff. Totally uh, a lot of stuff are coming, but thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys soon.